Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. As a farmer, I like free. I'd much rather have a free option than something I have to pay for. Well, today during our Farm Basics time, we're going to talk about the best free way to get amazing weed control. Well, here's the other thing, Brian. I don't like waste. And when you've got a very small crop on 30 inch rows, for example, you've got a lot of sunlight that's being wasted. It's hitting the dirt instead of hitting a plant. And when plants get bigger and they completely fill in the row, I just don't have the waste anymore. I'm catching every little bit of sunlight I can catch. So a lot of the strategies in farming for this reason, for not wasting any of that sunlight, are to move rows closer together, to increase planting population, to do everything we can to try to catch all that sunlight. Brian, we just don't like waste. Well, what it's all about is crop canopy and crop canopy is the best weed killer there is. If you can shade out the ground, shade out the weeds, the weeds just simply are not going to live. So Darren just mentioned some ways that we can get better crop canopy, having more narrow rows, higher planting population, even taller plants, anything that can be done to create more shade. And so I'm gonna go back to this free option for weed control. Crop canopy is better than any herbicide there is out there. So this is part of the reason why we always want farmers to have the best fertility, the best seed, and just the best overall stand so it chokes out the weeds. Well, like I was mentioning, we want our crop to catch all the sunlight, but here's the thing. Before those rows are closed up, who's catching the sunlight? Not just the dirt, all the weeds that are going to come in between the rows. Weeds need water and they need sunlight just like our crops do. So if we can close that canopy, they don't get the sunlight they need. Without that one important ingredient, those weeds just can't grow. But the other important ingredient there is also a cool thing about crop canopy, moisture and moisture conservation. Yeah, it does trap some more moisture because, well, you know how it is. If the sunlight hits the ground, it's going to dry out way faster than if the sunlight does not hit the ground. So having that good crop canopy does mean there's more moisture there. Now, the downfall to that is more moisture means more chance for disease. So one of the things that's happened here in agriculture in the last 20 years is we have dramatically improved crop production and overall food production is we are seeing more diseases out there in crops, which means more fungicide use. And fortunately too, plant breeders are doing a good job developing more hybrids, more varieties that have better disease tolerance. Well, we talk a lot about crop canopy being the best weed killer out there. And I know sometimes, Brandon, I get a hard time. You're the weed of the week, guys. You're talking about herbicides all the time. And, you know, herbicides are the rescue because you didn't have great crop canopy at one point during the well, year. Well, we do use pre-emerge herbicides too. But the whole point here is if we were able to somehow get amazing crop canopy all the way through the season, especially at the beginning, that would be an enormous help for more weed control, more moisture that's held in that soil, and overall better yields. And having a thick growing crop is good for so many reasons, and one of them could be stopping our weed of the week. We'll show you how to kill this weed later in the show. <music> 